Hello, my name's Sherry. Welcome to my vloggy pod. Um, second time I started this, I was sort of going rah, 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 talking away and hadn't introduced myself at all. So I'm going to put all the links actually in the description below. And I'm also going to try and put some show notes on my blog because a few people were asking questions about some of the people that I've mentioned. So I'll either put links below or on my blog, whatever is easiest. Anyway, so yes, so I'm an indie yarn dyer and embroiderer. I live in Devon in the UK and yeah, I just wanted to come on and see how everyone is really and say hello. It's just been such strange times at the moment and I actually said on my Instagram post yesterday, I think it was, how it's re you see all of these things happening and because we are, I think like most countries now, we are staying indoors. I look out onto where I live, there's, I live in a sort of crescent and there's an area of grass in the front and there's always people out there walking their dogs, playing, um, I don't know, just activities and it's, it's so quiet because although people are taking their exercise it's just kind of a brisk walk and back in and it's actually really difficult to grasp what's happening when you look out of your window and it's just quiet, you're kind of distanced from reality a little bit and I'm finding that quite difficult because, and I'm trying not to watch too much news because it's heartbreaking and no, not that I'm not trying to watch too much news, I'm watching the news, I'm watching our updates but I think in order to deal with it, I can't watch too much news. Does that make any sense? Anyway. So we have, over the last couple of weeks, we have got all of our Easter boxes out now. I'm really hoping they do get to you in time. Our little local post office where we live, we're only a open a couple of days. And on one of the days that we tried to go around there, they'd closed at 12 o'clock. So... And we're trying to go once a week. We've got drop and go, which means that we take a, a big postal sack with all of your parcels in, drop them off, and too much information, but we've got prepaid postage account, so we just literally drop it and we go. So we, there's minimal contact. Um, so I haven't been able to keep going frequently, but anyway, all the boxes are out. Hopefully they will get to you in time. If they don't, the way that we have organised it, we've actually put day one, day two, so you can open them when you want to open them, when you receive them. Sometimes people spread them over a longer period of time. But the message inside, the narrative inside, which is where you will meet Copperfield the rabbit, um, is very much, it's not specifically an Easter story, it's actually a story about sharing and togetherness really, so I hope you love it. So I have got, for the first time actually, some time to be doing some things. So I'm going to do some sewing. So I've showed you these before. These are Indian block prints. I showed them not very long ago. <laughs> I haven't done anything with them. But I am going to, this one here, I absolutely love. I don't know if that's, hopefully that is focusing. Um, I'm going to use one of the, well no, a couple of those I think, a couple of them I'm going to use for some lining for some bags, but yeah, that one I think I'm going to use for a blouse. Something like this one, which is an old one that I made years and years and years ago, and that's block print cotton. And the thing about it is it does fade, so this was really quite a deep pink when I first made it, but I love that. I love the fact that it just, I think that's so nice, that colour now, that it just fades sort of like vintage. I love that. So that is, actually, no, I couldn't find the pattern for that. Oh, I've got something to show you in a minute. I'll go to a did find. But I think I'm going to do the little blouse. So this is New Look K6163. She said squinting. Someone said to me, you need to get yourself some half moon glasses or, or bifocals, what did she say they were? 
so that I can look down, but I can't do that at the moment, can I? Because I can't get my eyes tested or anything. So, so you have to put it up with me squinting. So this is, so I'm going to do this one here with it, I think, because I'm always, um, nearly always, I've got blouses on all the time, all year round. So I'm going to try and do that one. I would like to do that again if I can actually find the pattern. And the other one that I want to make, I've made this before, I've shown you this before as well, is this one, which is a vintage pattern. Which actually I thought would be quite nice in this block print because, and it's so cool and it hangs beautifully. And I made this one, which if you've seen it before, I made it too small. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. I either make it, I just, and a wishful thinking, I think. But anyway, I love that. It's got a little peplum. And yeah, that's lovely. I can squeeze into that now. So I'm going to make, um, The same one, I think, because they do come with a collar, but I think I'm going to make the same one because I like that neckline. So, are you doing any sewing? And if so, what are you doing? I did want to do some um, dresses from Merchant and Mills, their patterns, but their fabrics are quite expensive, and I really think I need, and we've got a shop near me called Maker Maker, and they sell quite a few of their fabrics, but I think I need to go in and actually touch them, feel them, see what they're going to be like, because otherwise it's cost a lot of money. Anyway, look what I found. I found this, which is, is that, hopefully it's focusing, which is, I made a couple of, I mean, look how fashions have changed. That was when I was expecting um, our eldest, many moons ago. But, um, blooming acres of fabric it took. Yeah, I found that. I found quite a few old patterns actually, I have to show you some more next time. But look at the style, I mean it's not terribly comfortable either. It's got things underneath it. Oh, that brings back memories. Um, anyway, so they're my sewing plans. Sorry to shout. Um, and I'm looking forward to that because I don't have much time to actually sew my hair today. I do apologise, I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. I washed my hair this morning, I washed my hair every morning, and then I just scrunched it up and I looked a bit like a scarecrow. So I thought, well, I'll take it out to do this and it's just frizzed. Talking of being dragged through a hedge backwards reminds me that I had a school report. I think I was five, I may have been six. And the teacher actually wrote, Sherry likes playing with the boys and will come in after dinner time, looking like she's been dragged through a hedge backwards. That was on my report when I was five. Anyway, I still look like that apparently. The other thing that I've done is I talked ages ago about some curtains that I bought, which are in a big heap at the moment, um, that I bought from Ikea, that I was going to put up in my kitchen. And I did start some embroidery on it and I didn't like how it turned out at all. So I am, and I used thicker tapestry um, wool for that. So I've undone that and I'm doing it again. And I'm doing, uh, it's a bit unwieldy. Um, surprise, surprise, cow parsley. I don't know if that's showing. So I, this fits in better with the colour scheme that I want to do and I'm only going to put two or three in each one and I also think if they do need to be washed that will survive more but I thought as I've talked about this before nothing happened but I thought that um, what would be really nice is while we are all staying in um, to perhaps, perhaps do a little stitch along so it doesn't have to be cow parsley. You can do what you like and you can stitch what you like. Doesn't even have to be embroidery. Could be cross stitch, which is something actually I'd love to start. I used to do lots of cross stitch. Um, I will put a, if I can work out how to do it, a PDF download of cow parsley or perhaps lavender on my 
blog, which is just sherryiris.com, if you wanted to do some cow parsley. But I thought it'd be really nice to just show you a couple of the stitches that you use because this is the simplest thing to do but I think it's really effective and choose something to embroider it doesn't have to be um, something you're going to make into something perhaps a cushion cover that you could actually um, embellish with some embroidery or a pair of jeans or a blouse or anything, anything at all. It can be any fabric. It can be, you could use denim, like I said, denim jeans, be absolutely fine. Probably would use a slightly thicker floss for that, but it doesn't matter. Just let's have fun with it. I think that'd be lovely. So if you would like to join in, grab some things over the next few days. Um, if you don't have embroidery floss and you aren't going to be, you can't really go shopping for it now, it doesn't matter, just use normal cotton, you can do that just as equally. Who do you use that? Chloe Gordiano, who, I said her name right, she uses um, Gutemann threads to do a lot of her embroidery and that looks lovely, so it doesn't matter what you've got, if you've just got ordinary thread, that's fine, you just need thread, a pair of scissors, a needle and some kind of fabric. Um, and once you start embroidery, you will be addicted because it's just so simple to just pick up and do something. And I've got one of Nikki Franklin's kits ready and waiting actually as well, which is lovely. So, oh yes, and the other thing. So that's that. So if you do want to do it, I will, um, how we can do this then? Probably I'll do a little standalone one where I show you the stitches. That's what I'll do. Great planning, as you can see. That's what I'll do. And I'll show you, it's just a few stitches that you use for that, simple. Something else I want to do while I've got the time. I bought this, yeah, it's four pound from my local um, charity shop. Oh, I really miss that. I really miss wandering around. So I don't go out that much. I'm not, I'm quite a home bod really. Um, but I, today I would have definitely been around the garden centre or having a poodle around some of the local shops. And I do miss that. But anyway, I picked this up. Yes, this is four pound. And I have wanted, so it's needle felting. What says that? I can see that. I've wanted to do this for ages actually and it's quite straightforward I think and, scary, and these things which are a bit scary looking so I'm gonna have a go at that I mean I'm not quite sure what it's going to turn out like but I figure now is a pretty good time to try those things that you often think about trying and that's been upstairs for a long long time waiting to be done so yeah, I'm going to do that. I've been plodding along with my knitting and some crochet. I'm still doing the Nature's Walk Cow, which is Sandra Cherry Heart. Um, and I'm just enjoying it and I'm just dipping into each thing. I'm not giving myself any hassle. I normally beat myself up a little bit about how much I do, but I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. But I haven't made enough progress. I've done a little bit of all of them. So I'll show you next time. So I'm just going to show you a few things now that I've made are going into the shop. Um, and then there's a little vlog at the end, which I haven't been out, so it's not the most exciting vlog, but it's there. So there's a shop update. I'm recording this on Friday, Easter Friday, um, and these are going into the shop this evening. I'll get this up, this vloggy pod up as soon as I can. So that's the first thing. So that's a little botanical embroidery. And that's on linen. Little drawstring pouch. The back is plain. And it has a pretty cotton lining. And it comes with a little lavender bag, which has got some vintage lace on. So that's going into the shop. That's just one of those. And there is another one, which I haven't bought with me. 
epic fail, Sherry. Um, also, we've got some project bags. So these are the project bags. I don't know how that polka dot got there again. It just keeps happening, no matter what I do. So that's another little drawstring pouch. Um, with some little hand sewn tabs. This is Riley Blake fabric. And that, actually, matchy matchy. So this is Spring Meadow, and that is a little sock set. So that is going into the shop. And that is lovely, it's lovely blues and pinks. It was inspired by this. There is also, there's a few of those, I've got quite a few of those that I've made. Um, and they come with little lavender bags as well. And there are also some DPN cosies. I just realised I've got bright pink nail varnish on as well. That was me yesterday thinking I'm going to put some really bright nail varnish on and I certainly did do that. And the other thing is a couple of yarns. So this one, which is called Spring Greens which is lovely, it's, all, it's, it's literally different greens and teals and speckles and that's lovely. And this one, which is called Nostalgia, Nostalgia, and this is greens and pinks and there's some teals in there. Hopefully you're not focusing on me. And actually, they're really beautifully together as a little fade. So they're going into the shop. Um, thank you so much if you ordered our Quiet Moments Mindfulness Advent Calendar. Can't wait to put that together, so excited. That is going to be, it's not a Yarny Advent Calendar, it's more an inspiration or it's something to open every day in December that will inspire you to take a moment and be creative. Some of the things will be things that you might want to do straight away and some of the things will be um, hopefully things that you will do throughout the year, following year, but we were quite blown away by the response, so thank you so much. We didn't expect that. It sold out so quickly and a few people have asked, are we going to be doing some more? We might put some more up later on in the year, but because it's something, it's, it's a very, um, it's got a vintage feel and we need to make sure that we can get enough of the things that we want to put in there so we're not going to put too we're not going to put any more up until we've got more completed that makes any sense and the other thing i've been doing I keep doing that it's a bit grubby has been playing my switch now someone saw Me playing switch before in fact i think there's a little bit of, of my blog my vlog so i've been playing animal crossing which um i am loving i've been talking to sheree about actually i haven't spoken to her for a while about it but i was talking to sheree who um she's played nintendo for years it's something in its animal crossing is where you have a little island that you go to and there are daily tasks that you do and it's just perfect for the moment. It's just perfect to dive into this. So you're on a little island. It's just perfect to go onto your island and just spend a bit of time every day. A bit of escapism, really. And the last thing is what I've been watching. So I have been, again, at the moment, craving things that are just quiet to watch. And I was looking through Netflix, and I've actually seen it advertised a couple of times it's called Virgin River and I just thought no that's not for me and it is you could drive a truck through the plot it's the acting is quite hammy um, and I love it I absolutely have loved it and there's one there's only one season so far and that's just finished and they've made a second one but the scenery, 
it's amazing. I can't remember where in America it's set now, although I believe it was filmed. Is it filmed in Vancouver or some, some parts of it? Oh, anyway, blew me away. And I watched something else. If you like this, you'll like this kind of thing. And it was called Our Souls at Night Time. At Night, Our Souls at Night. I think that's right. And it's Jane Fonda and Robert Redford. And I saw them together in a film years ago. Was it Barefoot in the Park? Oh, it's a lovely film. It's so lovely. It's just tender and gentle and the most amazing scenery. That is a part of America that I've got to see one day. It's just incredible. Anyway, um, stay safe. I hope you have a lovely um, Easter weekend. And I will, I will be back with the cow parsley stitch along. But no, it doesn't have to be cow parsley. You don't have to do cow parsley. You could do anything you wanted to. It would just be nice, I think, to know that you're stitching along, other people stitching along at, at a time when we're all indoors. It'd be lovely to do something where we're all actually connected. So if you do want to do that, I'm going to think that through a bit more so that um, it's a bit more coherent when I talk next. But um, I will probably put up a vlog in the week with stitches and yeah so um yeah send in hugs and see you soon and there's a little vlog afterwards thank you so these are the little hand embroidered pouches for um the spring sparkle boxes spring sparkle boxes um yeah last three just going out now so love putting these together these are our spring sparkle and minis and they are sparkly they're on our sparkly base and that's the uh, main skein So hopefully you will love it. I hope it brings a little bit of a sparkle in these very uncertain terms. times.
Archie, should you be there? Shouldn't, should you? And you've got your feet on my cushion. But we both know I'm not going to move you. Don't we? And he's gone. Thank you.